Hello everyone, this is Teacher Joanna and I will be your teacher in science. Now before we start our lesson, let us first have these words. Are you ready? Okay, very good. So here, um, here are the words. Everyone, let us all read. Genitals. Again, genitals. Okay, very good. Next we have avoid. Everyone, let us read avoid. And then we have change. Again, everyone, change. And then we have consult. Again, everyone, consult. So the words are genitals, avoid, change, and consult. Now, do you know the meaning of the words? Okay, so let us know the meaning of the words. Are you ready to listen? Very good. So, um, everyone, let us read. When we say genitals, relating to the human or animal reproductive system, that is genitals. Do you understand? Okay, very good. And then when we say avoid, keep away from or stop oneself, that is avoid. When we say change, instance of making or becoming different, that is change. And then, when we say consult, seek information or advice. That is consult. Now, the, now those are the meaning of the words. Okay? So, today, everyone, we are going to talk about the ways on how to take care of our reproductive system. Now, do you still remember the reproductive system of male and female? So, what is the main organ of the female reproductive system? We have the ovaries. How about the male reproductive system? We have testicles or testes. Now, today, we are going to talk about how to take care of your reproductive system, boys and girls. Do you understand me? Okay, very good. So, every boy and girl should take care of his or her reproductive system. Always remember that uh, whether it is a boy or a girl, you should take care of your reproductive system. Now, remember, the main reproductive organ of your body is well protected. However, the external, when we say external, outside, okay? Outside organs need care and proper hygiene. Do you understand? Okay, so the main reproductive organ inside our body is well protected. The thing that we are going to take care, okay, is the external organ. So, we have to care for it and we have to have proper hygiene. Now, let me tell you um, ways on how to take care of your reproductive system. Now, are you ready to listen? Okay, very good. So, number one, keep your genitals clean all the time. Remember that you have to keep your genitals clean all the time. Wash them regularly with soap and clean water, especially after using the toilet. Whether you're going to pee, okay, so you have to um, clean it with soap and clean water. Okay, keep your genitals clean all the time. Do you understand? Okay, and then we have change your underwear. Okay, so what, um, of course, um, females have their, uh, um, females, panties, males, briefs. So, you have to change your underwear every day or as often as necessary. Okay, so do you change your underwear? Very good. Make sure that your underwear is kept in a clean place. So, they do not get any germs, dirt before you use them. Okay, so, aside from changing your underwear every day or often, you have to make sure that your underwear is kept in a clean place. Do you understand? So, they d so that they do not get any germs or dirt before you use them. It is very important also to put them in a clean um, place, clean cabinet. Do you understand? Okay, and then we have daily baths and showers are advisable. You have to take a bath every day. Do you understand me? To keep your reproductive organs and other parts of the body clean and healthy. So, how often you take a bath? Okay, 
So, once a day. Okay? Once a day, not once a week, once a month. Once, no. You have to take a bath every day. Do you understand? Daily baths and showers are advisable to keep your reproductive organ and other parts of your body clean and healthy. Do you understand? Okay, very good. And then, you have to abo avoid the dirty public washrooms. Okay? So, public washrooms are um, usually dirty. Now, you have to avoid avoid this um, dirty public washrooms so that you will avoid also those diseases that we can get from those dirty public washrooms. Do you understand? Okay, very good. So, and then, you have to eat nutritious food. So, you have to eat fruits and vegetables to get, a, and you have to get also adequate or enough rest and sleep. Do you understand? Okay, and then the last one, you have to consult your parents and or your pediatrician, okay, for any irritation, discomfort, or infection in your reproductive organ. So, consult who? Your parent, your mom or dad, or your pediatrician. Do you understand? Okay, very good. So, if you experience irritation, discomfort, or infection, you have to consult them. Do you understand me? Okay, very good. So, those are the ways on how to take care of your reproductive system. Not only that, we are going to talk about also the common disorder of the reproductive system. So, there are common disorder of the reproductive system and that's what we are going to talk about also. So, you have to know this also. Okay, number one is sterility, tumors, and cancer okay so these common disorders are caused by exposure to harmful radiation hazardous chemicals pollution cigarette smokes and drugs now we get this sterility these tumors and this cancer um when we are exposed to harmful radiation, to hazardous chemicals, to pollution, to cigarette smokes, okay, and drugs. Do you understand me? So, that is the first one. And then we have gonorrhea and syphilis. Now, gonorrhea and syphilis are sexually transmitted disease or STD and are contagious, okay? So, again, what is gonorrhea and syphilis? This um, these are sexually transmitted disease and are contagious as well. If not treated early, they can cause severe damage in certain parts of the body. Do you understand me? Okay, so public, uh, dirty public wash, um, washrooms can cause gonorrhea and syphilis. Do you understand? Okay, and then the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or what we call AIDS. Okay, AIDS is considered a serious sexually transmitted disease. People with AIDS experience weakening of the immune system which is the body's defense against diseases. Okay, so AIDS is very dangerous because it is damaging the immune system. So, remember that our immune system is the body's defense against diseases. So, if our immune system is ruined, destroyed, then we are, um, we are prone to diseases. Do you understand me? Okay, so everyone, what are the common disorders of the reproductive system? We have sterility, tumors, and cancer, wherein it is caused by exposure to harmful radiation, hazardous chemicals, pollution, cigarette smoke, and drugs. And then we have gonorrhea and syphilis, wherein we call them as sexually transmitted disease, and also they are contagious. Okay, and the last one is AIDS or the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, wherein it is considered as the, as a serious sexually transmitted disease. Now, um, if you have AIDS, you experience weakening of the immune system. Do you understand me? Okay. So everyone, those are the ways on how to take care of our 
um, reproductive system. Again, what are the ways, everyone? You have to keep your genitals clean all the time. You have to change your underwear. You have to take a bath every day. You have to avoid dirty public washrooms. You have to eat nutritious foods. And you have to consult your parents or your pediatrician if you um, experience irritation, discomfort, or infection. So, what are the common disorders of the reproductive system, everyone? We have sterility, tumor, and cancer. What else? We have the gonorrhea and syphilis. And then, the last one, the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS. Okay, so I have your questions and we are going to answer these questions. Now, are you ready, everyone? Very good. So, here is my question. What are the ways on how to take care of your reproductive system? Can you give me one way? Okay, so yes, keep your genitals clean all the time. What else? Change your underwear and then take a bath regularly every day. Avoid what? Avoid public washroom. Dirty public washroom. What else? You have to eat nutritious foods. And then consult your parents and pediatrician or doctor if you feel irritation, discomfort, or infection. So those are the ways on how to take care of our reproductive system. Do you understand? Okay, very good. So, the next question is, what are the common diseases of the reproductive system? Can you give me a common disease of reproductive system? Okay, so we have sterility, what else? Tumor, cancer, gonorrhea, syphilis, and AIDS. Okay, so those are the common diseases of the reproductive system. Okay, so everyone... What have you learned today? So, um, I have learned today about ways on how to take care of our reproductive system. Now, the ways on how to take care of our reproductive system are keep your genitals clean all the time, change your underwear, take a bath every day, avoid dirty public washroom, eat nutritious food, and consult your parents doctors or pediatrician if you feel irritation discomfort or infection okay so and also the common diseases of the reproductive system are sterility cancer tumor gonorrhea syphilis and aids Okay, so if you really did understand the lesson, let us proceed to your practice exercise. Now, here is your practice exercise, everyone. So, you have to answer, check your knowledge, page 119. That is your practice exercise. Now, here is your evaluation. Your evaluation is answer process what you know, page 119. Now, don't forget to answer your practice exercise and your evaluation because teacher Joanna will check it. Do you understand? Okay, very good. So, here is your assignment. Now, your assignment is you have to answer, check your understanding, page 119. Don't forget to, to do your assignment. Okay, so thank you for listening. See you on the next video. Bye-bye!